Welcome to Let's Play. I'm your host, Bobby F. J. Tom. Hi, Bobby. Hi. Joining us this week, the man you just heard, Sorg. How, how's it going, Sorg? Oh, hey, I'm here. I'm ready for also joining. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I thought I thought we were. No, go ahead. Introduce, I'm screwing introduce the whole thing up. I'm sorry. You just go on. You're the host. You're the host. It's your show. <laughs> also joining us this week uh, from his studio at home, Chachi. <laughs> Hello. And also joining us once again is Riz. How's how's it going? Hi, everybody. Glad to be here. We're all very glad to be here, Bobby. Thank you um, for having me. You're welcome. Anyways, uh, like we do every week, uh, what did you guys play this week? Uh, we're going to start with Sorg. So oh. Play. oh, no. I beat Assassin's Creed 2, and I'm so hey. confused. Oh. I'm so confused. <laughs> I also did jump into real As quick. Is everybody... As is everybody who plays Assassin's oh, Creed as ever. <laughs> um, I also jumped yes. into uh, Bioshock to see exactly where I was. It was really weird because I popped in and immediately like ended a level. So I'm like, well, this can't be right. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm pleased to see. Uh, and I did the, okay, where am I? And uh, looked up a walkthrough. I'm like on the third to last level, it seems. Uh, so uh, I think I'm going to run through that. Maybe I'll start stepping into some Assassin's Creed 3 in the meantime. Uh, other than that, I've been playing Angry Birds Friends and uh, some other things on my phone. I have downloaded, but have not played yet, Rockopolis. Oh, boy. So so that's the thing. And then I, I've been playing You're other encouraging things. them, Sword. Sword. And also Sword. Uh, the He-Man game I've been getting back into on iOS. Sword. Yes. Sword. Yes. Delete that game right now but i haven't even played it yet hold on I, I'll, hold on riz riz tell me what you're playing Stop. and I'll, I'll i'll at least give it a shot while we're waiting you're encouraging wwe to make crappy games oh, god don't first of all don't play that game and second of all i've been playing uh blops marvel the ultimate alliance uh i've been playing the iphone version of injustice which is yeah. Getting a little rep repetitious, but it's still pretty cool. Still, it's fun to drop in. Uh, I did play the challenge. Yeah, I, I, I still I did play the challenge. Oh, mm -hmm. Kirby Adventure for those Kirby's Adventure for the NES. Mm -hmm. For those who don't know, uh, I'm still playing ba Battle Block Theater, and I still recommend everyone playing that game at least buy the get the demo. And if you do buy the game. I will give you my gamer tag and we can go up. And right. also, I downloaded just today, just today, I downloaded on my iPhone Robot Unicorn Attack 2. They made another one. Yes. Not, right. not, not, not Evolution, just the second one. Oh, okay. And it's awesome. The guy never saw a graphically based game on the iPhone like that, and I've played Injustice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. There is a right. flying seahorse, a flying whale. Wow. In the in the sky. Is a whale in space? That's it. All right, uh, Chachi, what'd you play? No, uh, I played Blocks. Uh, it was double FP weekend. Mm -hmm. I played um, DJ Hero 2, uh, Claw Machine, still. Um, I think that's about it. a claw. What? A claw. Yeah, the claw. <laughs> the claw. It's a coming to get you. Wow. All right, and. I played uh, Marvel Avengers Alliance, of course. Um, actually, right now, I'm just waiting um, for something yeah. to finish researching. Um, I played Mega Man 2 again, um, almost at the end of it. Uh, I played the, the challenge, Kirby's Adventure. Um, I also downloaded the demo for Haze. Um, it's a new game on Xbox Live. Or, well, actually, it's a, it's a full release game, but they released the demo on Xbox Live. It was okay. Uh, maybe a little more impressions on that later. Um, and maybe another show. And I uh, downloaded um, Far, Cry, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, which is hilarious. 
uh, the tutorial mode alone of that game is amazing. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's it's definitely worth a download just for that tutorial by itself. Okay. So yeah, check that out. Awesome. All right. Um, and since everybody... I am. By the way, I am now deleting Rockopolis. Holy crap! <laughs> what What were they thinking? Just that quick. Sword, I, I you mean... are you are welcome. Oh man, <laughs> I need to listen to Riz more. All right. Uh, since everybody Yay. played the challenge this week, Chachi, did you play? Give the challenge? me a million dollars. No, I didn't. Oh, you didn't. Well, you. I'm, yeah. I'm sure you played Kirby's Adventure before. Yeah. Um, a little little uh, pink puff ball uh, yes, may or may yeah. not be made out of marshmallow. Um, he was one of the big characters in the 80s and 90s uh, on Game Boy and moved on to the Nintendo. Um, what were your impressions of the game? Uh, Sork, what did you think of it? Um, well, I can't, my memories of it, well, first of all, I have to disclose, my, my I had received the original Kirby's Adventure uh we went to walmart and by the time i drove we drove home i had beaten it um so that was interesting so i was excited to have rented kirby's adventure and not have beaten it in the uh drive to a different county um so uh i remember it was it was a pretty good upgrade and then i was uh shamed to know that kirby was pink yeah because it was (laughs) the first color uh version of it so uh uh, but no, it, 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 I recall it being like everything I loved about the Game Boy Edition and bigger. So it was it was like the perfect kind of port, you know, from from the little guy to to the big one. So I wonder what the decision was to make him pink because he like, wasn't what? he was not pink on the cover of the original no, uh-uh. one. Like this was I don't know where that came from, and I felt as as a young boy uh, trying to discover his masculinity, I felt awkward. <laughs> Do you think? Do you think it was because of the booze? Was, was Kirby on, um... a guy? Yeah, yeah, he was certainly, certainly. Kirby, his name's Kirby. Okay, like the sweeper, and which, which would may, maybe that was an inspiration mm-hmm. because he he did suck up enemies and and you know eat them and like a vacuum. So <laughs> my memories from this was fighting the tree. Mm-hmm. And, oh, I, yeah. and I got that far again real real fast. And, and I just liked that boss. I think he was an awesome this, boss. This was one of those games that had really cool large oh. bosses, right? Yeah, yeah. So. King D.D. was a penguin. The, tr- mm-hmm. the tree was easy, though. Yeah, but it was a good first boss. It was really easy. And then they had that mini boss walrus but, guy, too. Oh, well, yeah. But, yeah. Okay. All right. Good talk on Kirby's uh, adventure. Riz, do you have anything to add? Wait, wait, wait. Hey. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I once, I, I, I have a, a confession to make. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I think it was because he, because he was pink, but I never really got into Kirby. Like that. that that's where it stopped Not, for me. I didn't. As a, yeah. 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 I, I didn't. I, I looked at the picture and I'm like, okay, he's pink. Um, was this a decision? Do you think? So like a, it, was this a decision to get girls into video games? It was possible. Yes, I think it was, but it, it wasn't me being like. It wasn't. I didn't start doing it now, but I was. I was a very small child back then mm-hmm. they said oh pink's for girls and i walked away but i think it was directly to- directed totally to towards girls but guys can play it as well mm-hmm. which okay. i think um but as i as i started playing it again i realized it was it's an okay game yeah it's fun. I, I i enjoyed hate it, it as much mm-hmm but okay, your favorite your favorite power up definitely has to be the sword for me. Yeah, I don't. I unfortunately don't remember the a lot of the power ups. So I also fireball. had the fireball today, which was pretty good too. Nice. I'm actually seeing that on that video. So yes. So all right. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, now it's time for some things you should be made aware of. Things you should be made aware of. <laughs> 
Uh, Chachi, I believe you wrote the story on our first entrant, entry, um, the Hyrule Castle, and how much it would cost today? Yes, I did. Um, to recap, uh, basically, uh, a realty company in Arizona uh, has a, a fantasy section on their uh, company blog where they use it to price uh, how much fictional places cost. Mm-hmm or how much fictional properties would cost uh, if you were to buy them or if they were available. And they've, they've done, like, Hogwarts and the Bates Motel and things of that nature. Um, and to do it, they take in account real uh, factors such as location, um, realty, uh, real estate prices in that area, um and uh, size of the actual building, uh, as long as as well as uh, amenities such as uh, square footage and everything, and um, they they moved on to Hyrule, um, and they figured out that it would cost 113 billion dollars to buy Hyrule Castle, um, and 113 million. No, it's 113 billion. Billion, um, billion. No. Uh, no, I think that's million. I think it is million. Yeah. That's million. Yeah, it that looks million. like million to me. That's still a lot was, of money. <laughs> it was put in the the notes wrong then. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, it was I put, two, I put the two billion. zeros on for the change. I'm sorry. I put two zeros on for the change. Hold on. I got yeah, it, it is 113 million. Yeah. No, it's not. It's 113 billion. Open up the article on the webpage. I have the thing up. Yeah, it's right yes. on the screen. And at the bottom of the the graphic. We don't know numbers. <laughs> oh, it is million. A million. I can't count. Whatever. And uh, you Shachi can. Got I, they they figured out it's in Italy, and you can buy the castle. Yeah, I love the part where it's like this is in Tuscany, Italy. It's like uh, what? Whatever. Numbers suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you keep Sorry, getting the stories with numbers. <laughs> well, someone's gonna write. All right, Bobby. But, um, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, it, it's um, they they used um, land factors to figure out that it's located in Italy because it has all of the features: um, the volcano, the water, um, the fields, the forest, hmm. all of that. Nice. Um, and that was the only place geographically that fit. Awesome. So, all right. Um, hmm. our next thing you should be made aware of: uh, somebody ma- recreated Newtown to as a paintball map. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, do you do you have the um the people that did this? I don't know. Hold on, I'll bring it right up. Uh, this is an article that, that actually I found tweeted out over at Kodaku. Um, and uh, yeah, it, they have a little bit of a video going on here. Uh, so, so yeah, it, it's, um, uh, Tipman Sport recreated the map in, uh, real life this past weekend. Um, so, and there's a little bit of a video here on it, uh, a little bit of, uh, kind of precluded here, but, uh, yeah, use of the bus um, and, uh, the Jeep and different cars and everything. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they got, they got the layout, uh, in, in its paintball, dude. That's awesome. Uh, this isn't the first time that, that uh, people have done this. Mm-hmm. Um, I forget what level it was, but um, when the first Black Ops came out, uh, the game release party was actually held in a recreation of the map. Oh, probably was, um, what, what's the um, shooting range one? That's my guess. I think, yeah, I think I heard about that. Shooting range? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm... I'm that that uh, that seems like the most likely to be rebuilt. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, like I said, I don't remember which one it is, um, but th- there's actually a lot of people that rebuild this stuff all the time. Nice, um, nice. Just because it's such a popular game, mm-hmm. it makes sense people... for people. Yeah, we should try to reenact uh, lava or magma. Minecraft <laughs> magma magma. No, I wanna. I, Let's go to Japan. I would do encore. I'd want to do encore. Okay. Yeah, encore's pretty fun too. Or uh, hijacked. Probably hijacked more. 
Yeah, on an aircraft carrier. Hi, Jonas. That's the boat one. No, That's on the boat. boat one, yeah. <laughs> Alright. I went to boat. I went to boat. And our returning segment, uh, Sorg and I usually do this. Um, it's time for Insert Coin to Begin Theater. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby reads you the comics. All right. Uh, the, oh, I'm lost in place. Yep. All right. Uh, this week's comic is um, about Oblivion, um, which is an old old game, uh, the, the precursor to Skyrim. Um, and... I will be playing the part of the narrator. Okay. The first ingredient the guy uses is a uh, cheese wedge. It says ingredient one, cheese wedge. wedge. Ingredient Ooh. two, cheese wheel. And the guy pops them together. And it says, you have created the potion of resist fire. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> and it's just the guy holding the, the, the full complete cheese wheel. Uh, is this a, is, is this the Oblivion thing? Yes, yeah, seems legit. Okay. <laughs> All right. And scene. And scene. All right. Get guys eating cut the cheese. They can what? Uh, <laughs> What's that, Riz? Get it? Cause cause cut the cheese means well, no, uh, uh, cut the cheese. All right. Moving on to our news segments this week. Mm-hmm. Um, the how do you pronounce? How do you say this? Wea, wea, like wea, like wea. Never, I, I, I'm not gonna buy the console if I can't pronounce it. Pretend. Well, that's one less customer. Pretend you're the macho <laughs> exactly. man. Pretend you're a macho man. <laughs> All right, Chachi, I believe you wrote the story on this one. Yep. Um, the Ouya has been pushed back um, two weeks. Um, to was it June twenty fourth or July twenty fourth? I, I think it's June twenty fourth. Yeah, to uh, June twenty fourth, and uh, that's not really a big deal because it's not being delayed uh, due to it not being ready. Mm-hmm. It's being delayed because they don't have enough. It's not a bad problem. That's yeah, it's no. a good problem to have. And yeah. then uh, on top of it. They went out and they found a venture capitalist to uh, invest eighteen million more dollars into it, so that they can get make oh. enough. Um, Is his name Doctor Venture? Uh, <laughs> for more uh, systems post release date, um, it also will help them when they uh, decide to expand into more international markets um, because they currently don't have the capital to do so just because it would require them to revamp the entire system. Mm -hmm. Um, On top of it, um, they hired or not hired. They invited a former EA board member um, to join their, their board of directors. Um, And that could be good or bad, but, uh, it, it's a step in the right direction. It, it's somebody who's been like in the video game industry. Whatever you think about EA as a whole, mm-hmm. I mean, this, this, the, that's the sum of its parts, you know. And, and, right. And not everybody that works at EA is a D bag. I would hope so. And the majority of them are. <laughs> okay. So, um, but no, I think it's great though. I I, I think it's uh, uh, good to see that th- this is the kind of moves that makes it look like this is going to be a big company that's going to be around for a bit, right? And yeah. uh, you know, being being something that I hope does kind of change the game a little bit in video games, um, it, it sounds good. And I, and I hope that they have something when they launch that makes me want to buy one. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, the other question I have is, I, I wonder, you know, okay, you got you got this guy, right? Are they going to do any kind of mass marketing push, or do they need to at this point? Because obviously they're pushing it back. They don't need to try to sell more, you know, editions of this thing, right? Yeah. It's so, not going to hurt, ultimately. No. no. And, and was um, were there stories before about they were going to get into Walmarts? Oh, really? Probably. Well, uh, they're, they're in all major market uh, mm-hmm. retailers so far, so... I, I mean, it's not like they're going to deny a chance to sell more. Mm-hmm. From, from like, it being a Kickstarter, you'd think they would just sell online, but that's good that they're getting out there like that. Well, it was it's because of the Kickstarter. They do that. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. 
All right. What did Riz say? I don't know. I didn't what was that, Riz? So they have enough money that they have enough money that they can actually do that. Mm-hmm. Put money into other places because their Kickstarter was set and was surpassed exponentially. Yes. So they have enough revenue where they can go into certain places and go, hey, you want to sell this? You want me to? You want us to sell this? This is the biggest thing you'll see. Or this is the biggest Kickstarter that we have. Here, take it. And that's also what that capital enjoy the, enjoy the fest. And that's also what that capital did for them too. Mm-hmm. So, um, mm-hmm. so yeah, the, the, they're making moves, and I think I think they are going to be around for a bit. I mean, I don't expect them to make huge, huge waves, but I think this is going to be the fun tinkerer thing uh, for a good while. So. Yep. That's good. It's good for the gaming, yeah, they're not, gaming they're industry not, too. They're not gonna be they're not gonna be the Nintendo new Nintendo no. right away. No, no. They're gonna be they're gonna build up and they're gonna be really good. Uh, they're not gonna be the next juggernaut. They're gonna be they're gonna be the indie darling, you know? Um and, and, and they don't have to do gangbusters in order to make out on this thing either. So No, they're already gonna make out on it. Yeah. Damn. They delayed to make more because they're going to sell out. <laughs> exactly. They're they're fine. And got more money to put up for that. That's great. That's great. So, excellent. So, but, but Bobby, I, I think I think we got something else that's running Android, right? Yeah, there's another new Android um, system coming out, but this one's portable. It's uh, NVIDIA's um, Shield, which they gave it the the uh, name the Shield. Mm-hmm. Um, believe in the Shield. <laughs> As we wrestling fans are saying nowadays, um, it's price point's a little high, um, three forty nine, which for a handheld that's pretty a tad, a tad expensive, I'd say. That's more than the Vita. Yeah. <laughs> um, but mm-hmm. um, here are some of the specs on it. Um, it has a Tegra four, the world's fastest mobile processor. Um, it packs seventy two custom GPU cores and four Cortex A fifteen CPU cores. Uh, that's a lot. It sounds like <laughs> mm-hmm. um, a console grade uh, controller. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I'm using Those, tech talk. They're right now. very, very big number. <laughs> um, it has a console grade controller, mm-hmm. uh, dual, dual analog joysticks, a full size D pad, um, a left and right analog triggers, full size bumpers, A, B, X, and Y buttons, like written standard controllers, um, five inch 720p video screen. <laughs> Um, a two gigabyte RAM, sixteen gigabyte internal flash storage, and a micro SD storage slot. Mm-hmm. Um, it's run on Android Jelly Bean, uh, the latest Android operating system. Which Sorg, you would know a lot about that from uh, Awesome Cast. Not as much as Chachi. <laughs> that's right. That's true. Chachi does. Ch- Chachi's the Android guy. Yeah, this is. Um, and, and it's got a, you know, a couple other things in here, like mini HDMI. So mm-hmm. not only is it is a portable, like you can go ahead and plug this in, like you do an UEI, like you do a game stick, and it's going to be a full on console from the controller. Yeah. Um, it's interesting. It's powerful. It's impressive. It's way too expensive, I think, for anything yeah. to catch on because these are glorified mobile games at this yeah, point. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, the only one. The, the only games they announced are like Double Funds, uh, Broken Age, yeah. and stuff like that. Which are, mm. It was funny to watch the trailer for this thing that they put mm-hmm. out because you can play awesome games like da 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 and da da da. Nothing I had ever heard of. You know, uh, that they are, they're talking to me like it's the next uh, Uncharted or the next Halo, um, yeah. which none of these have. So uh, unless there's some Android uh, community, uh, even iPhone community, that's really into these uh, indie games, which I know there is one out there, but I don't see them clamoring for this. And the, the other cool thing about this is it doesn't this play, uh, da, 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 da. it'll play Zega Zone, uh, I'm sorry, Tegra Zone games, and I thought it plays a good collection of Steam games they were talking yeah. about, right? I, it, it probably will. Via Android? So is it the Linux compatible ones, or did they adapt those? What's going on there? Um, I so, I mean, that that's another thing to look at as uh, Shield, or I want to say Shield, uh, Steam keeps kind of going more in this Linux direction. Um, I, I've been trying to play with it mm-hmm. a little bit on some Ubuntu machines. I got actually one of these uh, machines sitting here has an uh, old NVIDIA card. I want to see how, uh, you know, some of the games actually run on it. Of course, it's older, so it's not going to be anything impressive. But still, mm-hmm. like, getting some of those kind of smaller indie games running on it just to see what happens, you know. So, yeah. I, it just 
just really cool that we have those options. Uh, mm-hmm. But I don't see this being anything. This, I, I thought that I didn't think this was anything more than a tech demo when they put I it just out. I just heard of this, mm-hmm. and and its pre order starts May twentieth. And okay. it comes out in June. It's like what? Yeah, well, <laughs> I just they, heard they, this. And they the showed this off. Boy, they showed what? this off at CES, and yeah. they were looking for. They're basically looking for people to buy into the thing, uh, looking for developers and, and and distributors. Like at the time, I don't think they talked about putting it out. I think they talked about it being a spec, kind of like they were talking about the Steam Box and other other companies are going to build the Steam Box to a certain spec. I, I think they were going to try to sell the license to the concept. And the hardware, because in the long run, this is Nvidia trying to sell chips, mm-hmm. and make and, and they're trying. This this is them. Remember, like when Alienware was the big thing. Like yeah, this yeah. is the epitome of what you're going to do with computer hardware and get the best looking games. That's what's happening with this. This is the epitome of of the best looking hardware in mobile manufacturing right now. Mm-hmm. And I but don't I'm know. Not, I don't know exactly what they're. I, mean, I know what they're trying to prove here, but I don't know where you go from this. This is like your your uh, Google Nexus phone, where like this is what an Android phone should be. This is the this is what mobile gaming could be, but I don't think anybody wants this. Mm. Just like they don't want Not Vita, this. and to a lesser degree, they don't want 3DS. Sorry, Riz. Is this the end gauge? It was coming to <laughs> my mind too. Yes, yeah. I'm gonna turn it sideways and talk to it. <laughs> and, and, and and I'm not. And just so the audio is, everybody knows, I'm not in the chat. I don't even have the screen up, so I can't see this. And all I'm picturing is the giant end gauge, with <laughs> kind of feels a, like it. With, and that's it. Kind of feels like it. Just go, it, it's the, a the, very expensive piece of. You know, mobile gaming that will not come close to you know um, this thing, mm-hmm. my and, iPhone, and, mm-hmm. and, and for those, and this oh, is ahead. just for a phone. Yeah, and for those who on audio who are who are looking at, I'm holding up my f- iPhone, which has a ice cream sandwich on it <laughs> as a cover. Um, for for but those yeah, of who, yeah, you it, are. But still, it's. Go ahead. Oh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the Engage, um, picture a phone, and then picture that phone as a taco, <laughs> and turn it sideways, stick it to your face, and talk to it, with the screen facing outward, not towards you. It's like outward. It's like this. Here, here's. Yeah, we're showing it, Riz. We're showing yeah. it, Riz. For. Th- Okay, you're showing it? Okay, good. Yeah. It's yeah. a tech taco. <laughs> That's what it is. It's a techo. A techo. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, moving on. Moving on to our next uh, story. Riz, I think you wrote this one. Oh, I am uh, very excited for this. Um, it's one of your favorite games. A little, little backstory about this. It, I, I was blown away when I played... Uh, Saints Row the Third, when it was when it came out on and THQ, you know how fun that adventure was with THQ, mm-hmm. um, and I'd never thought I would be saying this because when I first saw it, I was looking at it as this is just a ripoff of uh, GTA, which it is pretty much, but it's so much different and highly customizable that is totally different so they have a new game coming out soon i'm not i forget when but they just released a walkthrough with uh with one of the creators game developers of saints row 4 um first of all you have you have superpowers now oh yeah that's gonna be amazing <laughs> and and oh 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 you're a superpower you're a superpowered president in this game. <laughs> he he won he won election and he is now in super he has superpowers all over his body. And, and he just he, saw him deliver a stunner. Yes, that's one of the trademarks from and, the third. Uh, okay, third game wasn't it? They they do they they do combos in this game 
as well. And um, I'm pretty sure you're showing the awesome gun they have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I believe, is everybody dancing, Sork? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, just about. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's called the dubstep gun. Oh, yeah? It plays dubstep and kills people. That's um, actually also being a game or a enemy, uh, weapon in Borderlands. <laughs> yeah. That would work in any game. And also, there's, my favorite one is the one that... the I think it's called the Enlarger. Mm-hmm. Which enlarges every body part and make them explode. But there's also monster trucks. There's also aliens. And um, oh yeah, giant mechs. Hmm. Wow. You get to be a giant mech. You get to be a mech. Pacific Rim. I. For it, the. It's not. Powerful because. It's it, it, it's GTA. I now call this GTA on steroids <laughs> and crack and meth and bath salts and wow. ecstasy and everything else. It is everything rolled up into one. And I'm looking forward to purchase, purchasing this game. And if you're not excited by seeing this, per, this demo, you're not excited for life. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Moving on to our boss battle this week. Guys, what's your favorite gaming commercial? It could be from any era. Any era. Okay, Sorg, what's yours? You know, um, the most, the most, I, I, I don't know, favorite, because um, I feel like there will be one that is, is, is more prominent than this, but this is definitely one that stuck out in the last few years. Um, Gears of War has had the most interesting commercials. Mm-hmm. Um, I agree. Like, either the first or the second one, I think it was the second one, that had, like, the song from, um... Donnie Darko. Donnie Darko, which is yeah. the, um, you know, I'm ready to commit suicide song, basically. <laughs> um, and, and, like, just kind of like that him fighting, and then he ends up, like, down in that hole and looks up, and there's just just giant monster. And he's pretty much screwed, right? Um, that was, I mean, those really kind of subdued uh, uh, kind of situations, right? Uh, so I, I, that's a series of them that's always been really good. Um, so, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the Gears of War there. I remember the giant spider from that ad. Just... That's what it was at the end, right? Was it giant yeah, spider? It was, at, it was at the end. Yep. Awesome. Cool. Uh, Riz, what was hey. your favorite? I'm actually going to probably steal somebody's on this one. Okay. <laughs> Not sure who. But I'm probably going to steal it. The Zelda commercial with Robin Williams. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that stuck out, stuck out to I me. About that one. Yeah. He named his he named his daughter Zelda. Because was it was it him or his son that was a really big Zelda fan? He's a big was, Zelda fan. I think it was, it was his him. son or his. He, it was him. They were, it was him? Yeah. Yes. Um, was him. him and his wife were smoking and, pot. And <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not even kidding. He'll, this is the story. Says, he oh, says hey, the same thing. Let's try this. Him oh, and his oh. wife, were, he was really big at the time. Not that he's not big now, but, I mean, he was just starting to get really big. Um, the Nintendo system wasn't exactly cheap. Yeah. Um, but him and his wife were really high. And uh, he had gone shopping, and he saw it. He was like, you know what? I want to play this. <laughs> oh. I thought this is an opportunity for everybody to do the Robin Williams impression. Oh, oh hey, oh, it's but, dangerous uh, to go alone. Oh, oh take this. Uh, 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 but, oh. Yeah, he, and he was such a big <laughs> fan of the game um, that, yeah, he named his daughter Zelda, and that uh, uh, they play with, uh, as she got older, they would play the games together. So. And and not to mention he has an epic playoff beard. Yes, in, the, in this commercial, <laughs> he always has a pe- playoff he always beard. Does. <laughs> he was in Jumanji, bitch. <laughs> yeah, he was trapped in the oh, game. He was. That's Show how he got him the beard. Some respect. He was trapped. And and also, side note, I think we mentioned this before. Zelda Williams 
and noobs. Mm-hmm. Well, awesome. she's trying to be an actress. She seems like so. you guys know that. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, yeah. Chachi, what, what was your favorite? I was I, I was oh, waiting go. for her to go, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, hey. Um, I'm, gonna move. I'm, I'm a noob. So, well, Riz did take my favorite. Um, but there's a ah, uh, there's you. a commercial. Come on. I have a Triforce tattooed on my hand. <laughs> On my hand, and you're surprised that I was going to pick a Legend of Zelda commercial. <laughs> I mean, for real. I was. I didn't say I was surprised. What, did I say but, I was um, surprised? Anyhow, um, there is one where um, it's a it's a DS commercial. It, it's a uh, Penelope Cruz and her sister, um, and they're they're playing Mario, or they're they're sitting down to play Mario in the DS, and. Uh, one of them looks at the other and says, same bet. And they don't tell you what the bet is, but they play, and the person with the high score loses the bet. Obviously. Or loses, or wins the bet. Um, and then they cut away, and it's Penelope Cruz at a market dressed up as Mario um, with the Italian accent and everything. Awesome. So that, it, that, it's hilarious. that was always a cool uh, line of commercials they did in general. Well, they just yeah. felt like celebrities playing video games. Um, they, it, well, it's because, like, it, it's not just the fact that celebrities are playing video games. Because, I mean, mm-hmm. we know celebrities play video games. Um, they send them free shit even though they don't need it. Mm-hmm. Like, it, most, most celebrities get a copy of, uh, not just a copy, but they get the... Uh, the fifteen hundred dollar version of a, a video game that comes with uh, like special headsets in the game and whatever mm-hmm. they're selling extra with the game, mm-hmm. and on top of it, a brand new Xbox. <laughs> like, Just in case you didn't have one, yeah. right? Like anytime a, a, mm-hmm. a new sports game comes out, they're sending it to all these celebrities. Because they want the celebrity to talk about it. Especially mm-hmm. these days that they can tweet about it. Yeah. And it, they're sending them brand new themed Xboxes. Like, how many of these things do these, do these people have just laying in their closet? Yeah. I'm going to build an Xbox fort. Yeah. Because I mean, they just... <laughs> fort kick ass. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it, it's, um, it's just like, oh, well, this Xbox has been used this week, so let's switch it up to this one. Mm-hmm. One for each room. Yeah. All right. it, but, uh, oh, you're not done yet, Chach? No, I'm done. Okay. Um, my favorite commercial um, was also a Nintendo commercial from back in the day. Um, do you guys remember the Super Smash Brothers commercial? Where it shows Mario and Yoshi and Donkey Kong like mm-hmm, running through a field. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, they're all attacking each other. I think uh, I think uh, Alex Cars yeah. in the chat room was calling this one out earlier. Yeah, I loved that commercial. So it was a fun one. Uh, so, Sorg, did you pick one? Uh, I did. The, 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 yeah, he the, did the, the, the I did the, the depressing Gears of War one. Gears of oh, yeah, War, yeah. 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 Sorg went a little little. Well, <laughs> I also remember in E3. The best part of the Wii U's speech was this little guy right here. What? Don't see it. What? Oh. The, oh. The, the, the not. The, no. The non discrim or what? Yeah, I remember the, him. Non derogatory superhero. What? Oh yeah. No, I don't that remember guy? that. I don't yeah. remember that either. It was like they were try. They were trying so hard to be funny. And it failed very badly. It was, and this was the most memorable part of Nintendo's E3 Wii U reveal. Ooh. Wow. Was this little guy right there, who doesn't even have a name, I don't think. <laughs> but yeah, that's one. And it, and also, I'm the, uh, one of the newer ones, I think. Um, Team Fortress had brilliant commercials for their game. And one of the bet one of the best ones was Pyro the Pyro commercial. Mm-hmm. If you ever if you haven't seen that commercial yet, it's very funny. 
very well done. It 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 shows Pyro frogging in a field and all that stuff. And then it shows the real life where he's burning people alive. Oh, I do remember that one, like, yeah. Oh yeah. oh yeah, yeah. That was also one of the good, better ones. Yeah. Um, another another one that uh, was a good uh, commercial, but the game was terrible. Was um, uh, Dead Island Par- or Dead Island? Because mm-hmm. that that commercial and um, the trailer and everything like yeah. that had everybody so hyped, and then it just was a huge letdown. Gameplay was terrible. Enough to make a sequel. Yeah, it was, it was it was very bad. bad. It, it was bad. So. All right, well, that's going to do it for us this week. Um, you can uh, go to our website, insertcointobegin.com. You can follow us on Twitter, at InsertCoinTB. Mm-hmm. And for Chachi, Riz, Sorg, oh. and myself, game Wait, over. Wait, time out. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa. What's the challenge? Oh, the challenge this week. Oh, Mega Man 2 oh. is the challenge this week. Mega Man 2, yeah, which, is, for me, which is available on iOS. Mm-hmm. And I guess it's probably available on that virtual nice. NES.com. It's- Available and any everywhere, 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 <laughs> everywhere, so, everywhere. So thanks for reminding me, Chachi. Forever. And, uh, <laughs> you can play the challenge this week and join us next week for another insert coin to begin. Presents. Let's play. Game over. <laughs>